That's what the neodymium magnets look like after having the uh, high voltage across them. There's some interesting brownish discoloration on the plastic beneath and on the aluminium holding the magnets onto the uh, high voltage wire. Perhaps that's ionised particles that didn't bond to gas. I'm not sure that the electrons are being pulled away from the um, argon. Maya stated that you need the uh, electron extraction thing to happen to remove the electrons from the gas before they will arrange themselves in a lattice with whatever uh, metallic iron you're trying to put with it. You can see the mark where the uh, that was the inside surface like a dust. So I guess that would be ionised particles of material off the magnet. When you're attempting to drill glass it's important to obviously wear safety goggles, have a diamond bit or a, di a, a bit with diamond furry bits on it. Diamond fur. <laughs> and immerse the drill under water. I've also packed that with water and uh, kitty litter to take up any shock. So there you can see a very nice hole drilled through the glass. So there you go, three neat little holes in a, uh, a herb jar. I've got a cobalt drill. It's the only source of cobalt I could think of. So I'm going to either cut it or snap it in half and somehow mount it in there so that that's my spark gap so that I'll be vaporising um, cobalt steel and I've miniaturised this chamber so that I can get the um, magnets close to the source of the particles like say here or something so that they're exposed to uh, a magnetic field as soon as I start cooling I just thought I'd test how the uh, distance is on the gap and something interesting, check this out. Whatever that vapour was smells fucking terrible. Metallic. And on the uh, left hand side, the one without the drill spiral, you can see there's a very short pointy bit that's on the end. That has been getting shorter. And I haven't been using the spark gap for like more than 30-40 seconds. So perhaps a very fine point is 
the way to get good strong ionisation of the metals. So there we have the ioniser. You can see that little blue glow in there. I've got a 1 watt LED, uh, 405 or 410 nanometer, I think it is, 405. Uh, we've got the gas. Okay, that's coming through. You can just hear it leaking. Uh, and turn on the high voltage. So my question to you guys is, how do we test for magnetic gas?